The number one most important thing to take into account when you're color grading is the skin tone. Skin tones definitely have the potential to ruin your entire image if you don't get them right, but they're pretty easy to fix inside of Premiere Pro. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this inside of Lumetri Color. The two tools you'll need to follow along are HSL Secondary and the Lumetri Scopes, particularly the Vector Scope. The Vector Scope basically shows a map of all the pixels in the image and where they lie in terms of saturation. So the center of this Vector Scope will be completely gray and as the colors start to expand, that means the image is getting more and more saturated. HSL Secondary is a tool that allows you to isolate one specific color and then make changes to that color. So with these tools open, let's start the tutorial. Go into HSL Secondary and use the eyedropper tool to select a portion of the skin tone. Next, you wanna check the color gray option so we can see exactly what we're working with. A lot of times you're not gonna have a perfect selection right off the bat. So you can use these hue, saturation, and lightness sliders to really refine our selection and make sure all of our skin tones are in the selection. If you have other things in the shot that are selected, don't worry, that's not gonna have a huge impact on the final gray. Once you're happy with the selection, you can scroll down to find the denoise and blur options. Generally, you're gonna wanna crank these way up so that we don't have any artifacts in the image, especially right around the skin tones. Now that we've finished selecting our skin tones, we can take a look at this color wheel. Above it, you're gonna see a triple wheel icon, and you can click that, and that will open a color wheel for the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Skin reflects light, so you're gonna want the highlights to basically reflect the ambient lighting in your scenario. For example, if you're shooting at golden hour, you're gonna want the highlights to be orange, or if you're shooting at blue hour, you're gonna want the highlights to be blue. Since right now we're shooting in a daylight scenario, I'm gonna add a touch of blue into the highlights. The shadows of the skin tone should be pushed more towards red, and that will just emulate blood flow underneath the skin and make it look a little bit more realistic. Now the midtones. This is where we can fix any color cast in the image, and this is where the vector scope comes in. Since we have the color gray option selected and all we can see are the skin tones, it's going to be much easier to make changes to that color because we can see exactly where they lie in the vector scope. In the top left corner of the vector scope, you're going to see a very thin line going from the top left to the bottom right. That line in the top left corner is exactly where we want our skin tones to be. If it's leaning a little bit to the left of that line, just add a little bit more purple and that will cancel out the green cast that's on your skin tone. Or if it's to the right of that line, and you can just add a little bit more green and that will put the skin tones right where they need to be. Since we're pumping so much color into the shadows, midtones, and highlights, I'll oftentimes decrease the saturation so we can have a more realistic looking skin color. Depending on the scenario, I might increase the exposure or increase the contrast to make it stand out a little bit more. So now if we uncheck the color gray option and turn this effect on and off, hopefully we've fixed the skin tones and it looks significantly better than what we had before. That being said, I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, please feel free to show your support by leaving a like on this video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload a new filmmaking video every single week. But that's all for now. Stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you in the next one.